you find these smallest. Hello? Uh, come on in there, big Greg. Fellow walker, buddy. Come on. Give me a big 10 for buddy. Come on. Yeah. Is this Trey? Over. And you know where the fish are at? Keep finding it today. I need a river check on some smallies. All right. All right. First fish, guys. I wasn't even recording. He hit the spinnerbait. We're gonna get a measure on him real quick. I know he's not big, but he's a third. Yeah, big tree fell. I have to watch for that today. We've got some serious winds. I've already seen a bunch of branches breaking off and falling into the water, so really gonna have to be careful today. Keep an eye above. Make sure nothing falls on us. Ooh, I slipped in. Oh, shit. Damn it. <clears throat> Crap. Just one of those days that a girl goes through. My poor reel just buried her in the mud. Trying not to slip down this bank. Oh, man, why is it so slippery right there? Get over here. Sounds like Garrett went ahead and got in. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a walrus over there. Ah, you're kidding me. Yeah, that was a beautiful cast too. I just had to grab this branch with my line. Oh, come on, man. You kidding me? Just running into issue after issue, guys. These trees and stuff are not helping. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Got a good one. Got a good one. Got a real good one. Got a real good one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Maybe, maybe. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta get a measure on him. Heck yeah, dude. Right there. Look at that. I bet that's 16 incher. 
He's beat up, dude. Lost his fins. Nah, man, he's fat. Look at his belly. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a girl. Oh, wow. That means the male's still in there. You guys probably crossed the water a little too soon. He hit right in the middle. Did he? Yeah. Sorry about that. He just got too excited. I thought he was a giant giant. Dude, that's... <laughs> he's not bad. <laughs> he's not bad at all. Yeah, that's, that's how you win tournaments right there. So you're uh, pretty wet now. All right, all right. What are we looking at? 17, dude. Really? This is not the same fish. That's way bigger than what I caught. I'm gonna walk back. Oh, yeah. get my finger back. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Hold on, buddy. I'll let you go here in just a second. I'll let you go just here in a second. Just here in a second. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> you ready to take that picture? All right, all right, all right. Damn it. This thing is so slippery in my hand. Can't keep him still and keep his mouth closed. There you go, guys. Mouth huh? to tip. 17 and a quarter. Take my picture, Gavin. <laughs> there we go. That's a good one, dude. Ah, here we go, guys. 17 incher. I'm coming for you, Trey. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Do a flippy flip for me. No? <laughs> tying on uh, Shane a spinner bag. He was tying one on. There we yeah. Go. <sighs> Sorry for coming through here. I thought you had like a monster for a man. Dude, 17 inch smallmouth. That's a, it's almost bigger than my PB, dude. That is a monster. A monster in my books. Oh, you ain't the only one, dude. Oh, man. Raining, wind blowing, freezing my booty off. There she is. Two 17s and a 16. I know them boys probably just spooked off whatever was right here coming through here, but that's all right. I need at least one more of those. One more 17 inch fish. That puts me at 47. <laughs> that reflect that, that, that there gets rid of that little 13 <laughs> that we caught yesterday. All right. First fish guys, I wasn't in recording. He hit the spinner bait. We're gonna get a measure on him real quick. I know he's not big, but he's a third. Yeah. 13 incher. Okay. I'm gonna get moving. I gotta get moving. All right, what's chilling out right here? Anything at all? Hit a rock. So in the other tournament you're talking about, is it? Oh, rock bass. That's a nice rock bass. That is a nice rock bass. Man, look at the size of that thing. Calm down hey, here, buddy. Calm the bank. down. Look at that, guys. This thing catches more than just smallmouth and bass. Oh, yeah, you got one. Oh, he's a nice smallie, too. Get in there, Shane. Gavin yeah, breaking out the crank again. He caught a tank on that thing yesterday. Let's find out if it's even the same fish. It looks a uh, different color, buddy. Yeah, it does. Looks like a bigger one. Yeah, guess what, Gavin? What? 16 and a half. Okay. Help, guys. Gavin caught the beast today, but he caught it on the crankbait. Sorry. There you go, buddy. All right, your turn, Derek. Yeah. You got a picture of you guys doubled up here. All right. Let her go, man. It's gonna be one of those days, boys. I can already tell. All right, guys, we already got three fish on. We haven't even made it very far down this creek. We weren't even really expecting on catching anything. So far, it's a 17, a 15, and an 11. I think we're on the verge, guys, of one of those days. Y'all know what I'm talking about. There was a big one living in here last year. My brother was the only one that got a hold of it and lost it. But it was a big smallmouth. 
I've been trying since last year to rehook up with him. Maybe today's the day. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. This might be an upgrade right here. That might be an upgrade right there. Right by the tree. Yeah. Hold it. All right, guys, there we go. Number two on the day for me. And I believe that's uh, number four total. Yeah. The water's nice and clear here too, so we're gonna get an underwater release. All right, guys, we're gonna keep on hitting this and then move a little bit down. I think today's the day. All right, guys, let's see if there's anything else by this tree. We're gonna throw it out here first though and work it on down. Oh, man, they're bringing this fight today. I thought that was a hit, I think I hit a rock. There we go. He took my spinner bait. <laughs> a smallmouth, dude. He just come right out there at this tree root right here and took my spinner bait. No, God, he broke me off. <laughs> Garrett, Gavin, one of you guys got your spinner bait? <laughs> no, he threw mine in a tree. Sorry. I got mine left. Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I wonder what that was. Turtle. No, it was a smallmouth for sure. I want to know how big, dude. He just darted right out underneath. I told you guys the tree. You can have whatever you want out of my bag. Bet. <laughs> I need that spinner bait to finish this off. I, I can't catch a 17 incher on anything else besides this. That might have been the big boy. Maybe the one that. Uh... I hope I didn't hook him. Yeah. Probably didn't. Did, then, huh? I mean, it's a clean break. Look, <laughs> that's not an undone knot, guys. That was a straight up clean break, man. He just totally pulled me off. I mean, I kind of had an idea he was going to come out and hit if there was one there, but I, I wasn't for sure. And he come out and just nailed it. And broke it. Yeah, it just it just pulled and broke. That was it. I thought I missed the hookup until I pulled my pole up out of the water and my. My spinnerbait was gone. I wonder if he'll hit again. <laughs> that sucks, man. I was finding something in my bag. I can't really see. Don't really suck that I lost him. It sucks that I put a spinnerbait in his mouth, and now he's down there with a spinnerbait in his mouth. But I got a mud bug, and uh, I got the Drew's crawl. Oh, blow my knees out. Man, dude, that sucks. Put that spinnerbait in that fish's mouth, man. I feel bad now. It's not what I like doing. Anybody fish this seam here yet? Yeah, I did. I didn't get anything. There we go. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got the hot hand today, buddy. No, yeah, I had a rocker that said. <laughs> you don't know, well, man. Be honest with you, when I got that first smallmouth, I thought I'd snag something. He really didn't start fighting. It wasn't until I saw him. Uh, boil the water a little bit at the top yeah. i thought that one i had was big i'm just glad i got something on the board we got to find more cover oh. these, these fish aren't out in this open we got to get back into the holes with the cover yeah. i don't want to cross there you guys and the waiters can okay. <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna cross right here and go on down so we can jump down here and fish this or we can stay on this bank and just walk over to it That's well, not clear, so we ain't gonna be able to see them. That definitely raises the difficulty level up. Oh. 
Yeah. Sit right here, man. Take your cast down that side. I'll give you first dibs. And just, uh, yeah, lean yourself out there as much as you can. If you have to, you can step down there in the water. Just be real quiet because they could be right here in front of you and you don't even know it yet. Gavin's got him. Oh, yeah, dude. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. I don't want to. That's a good fish. Good fish, Gavin. Hey, that's not even the big one, is it? No. It's not. Here, Shane, get back in there. Here, I got him. You get in there. There's fish in here. There's at least two more this size. What you got there, Gavin? Got 15 incher? Yeah. I bet that's a 16 incher, maybe. There we go. I needed that. Yeah. What you got, Garrett? Oh, he got one too. Oh, wow. On a worm? On the, on the oh, Ned Red? Oh, it's a big old rock bass. Yeah, took my worm too. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, you put that curly tail on there, didn't you? Yeah, then I. Garrett, hey. Hey, it's on for you. I think I'm in the loop. You never know where these little guys are hiding at. I'm ready to see Shane catch a giant, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got that big hole right up there. I caught one there yesterday on a very, very difficult day to catch fish, so hopefully we can catch more. And then in the far back, uh, around that corner, there's another hole. And uh, well, there was three of them out there, and we couldn't get them to hit the first time we saw them. And then yesterday, it was so cloudy, we just couldn't see them. You see that big rock shell on the left? That's what they hide underneath up here. That's what we're heading for. Sometimes they're hiding on it. Sometimes they're out here swimming around. So we always fish around first to see if they're out here on the flat. And if they're not on the flat, then we start targeting the rock. All right, we go over and start hitting that rock. We cast along the side of it, go real slow in, in this big one right here. Yeah. Sticking up out of the water. Mm -hmm. It's like a three foot hole underneath of it. Underneath of it? Yeah, they hide up yeah, underneath of it. Like and I, I mean like nine, ten of them will hide underneath of like it. Like to the front side of the rock or the back side? Both of sides. It? Cast down that side of it and right go ahead and cast down. Oh yeah, get right up on it. We're not in the water, they won't see us. The water's cloudy. So as long as we're nice and quiet, we sneak up on them, they won't know we're here. And they'll come darting out just like that one bit on that tree on the back there that broke me off. Yeah, yeah come over here like this right here. You want that seam right there down that rock. It'll shoot up right out there. Now you ain't got to throw very far. Just get yourself a few feet yeah. past that rock. Just lob it. Here, try this color. Maybe it's just the color. Yeah, mine mine that, uh, casts a mile, so careful. Yeah, <laughs> you just gotta you just you just gotta them. lob it. Just a little, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> there you go. Alright, now slow it down. And if it snags, it snags. We'll get it out. But you want to be right up against that rock. I mean, right up against it, nice and slow and deep. There you go. There you go. There you go, Shane. There you go. That's a real good one. That's a real good one. Oh my God. Oh my God, boy. Look at that fish. Did I call that, dude? Woo. Look at that pregnant female. Dude. Oh my God. Dude, Dude, I bet you that's 18 inches at that's least. That's his first smallmouth fish. He's fat. That's a trophy. That's a trophy creek smallie, dude. We gotta get a measurement on this fish. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Oh, dude. That is sick. I bet you anything, dude, that's that 17 from that I caught the other day. Is it? Yeah, look, 17, 17 and a quarter. Same exact size as her. Looks like her and everything. That's a three pound smallie. Yeah, she's heavy. That's a three pound smallmouth, dude. PV all day, dude. First, that's the first one. Watch the trees and fallen leaves like the breeze want to blow. I should get bonus points for giving up my pole on that cast. Come on now, come on now. We can find another big one right here though. That tree over there. Yeah, that tree right there. It's got small mouse living underneath it. Right there. Good one, good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a real good one. No, it ain't. It's a little guy. <laughs> I'm not even worried about him. 
There we go, guys. Little bitty, little bay booger. I know he's not one of the good ones that's in there. He's just one of the little guys. There we go. Oh yeah, he's missing his tail. Somebody whopped him. Right. Yeah, we we'll just keep hitting this tree, man, and don't dart out to that current, man. Had him feeling like he was a pig. Yeah. I'm looking for the color one. Yeah, it's the color. Look at that, back to back. Another little one. Okay, just making sure he had his tail. <laughs> Another little guy, guys. This is just, I'm having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> what a stretch guys for creek smallmouth that was phenomenal i hope you guys enjoyed that we're gonna hit uh, a couple more spots up here where i caught that first one at we're gonna hit the bridge a little bit and then uh, that calls it quits this is gonna be it for us for the rldl booyah challenge we want to thank uh, reese and mike for inviting us I want to thank Reese again for that awesome letter, man. I really appreciated that. We all loved it. It's one of my favorite pieces that I've received from any other YouTuber. All right, guys. I'm back with you. All right. One of two for the final spots, guys. Oh, crap. I just threw that right over two branches. Watch a big smallmouth hit it now, and I'm... Oh, dude, did you see that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he legit just tried to hit that on top water. Oh, you're kidding me. No, it won't even unwrap. If I didn't have the other branch, it wouldn't be so bad, but I got the, ah. Oh. Is it broken off? Yeah, it broke off. Well, I've been wanting to Ned rig it, so I guess I'm a Ned rig it. It's kind of starting to have fun with that spinner bait, really. All right, Adventure Force, let's go. Ooh. Oh, back to almost civilization. Oh, dude. What? Good one. Good one? Oh my God, my PB. My PB. My PB. That's my PB. That's my PB. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Look what was underneath the bridge. I thought it was snagged. Oh my God. Barely. I barely had him hooked, guys, right there. I gotta hide this fish. I don't want nobody to see. Right there, guys, look at that. That's a nice small mouth. I bet that's 17 inches right there. I bet that is 17 inches. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I am. Oh my God. Hey, I'm right underneath the bridge. That's the biggest bridge fish we've caught so far. Look at that tail. Oh my God, dude. 18 inches. Oh, yeah. 18 and a quarter. Man, why wouldn't you hit that spinnerbait earlier? All right. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, focus. Here, I got a rock bass. Oh, baby, I love oh, God, I can't believe that. Can't believe that, guys. Look at that fish. Incredibly That's beautiful. Awesome. Absolutely. Phenomenal. You shine like gold. All right, let's let her go, guys. What do you say?